Hi everyone, Stacy Palmer here from Phoenix, here to show you an entree recipe, okay? Now, this entree involves chicken, and yes, I know there are a million ways to make chicken, right? So, here is your million and one way. So, one more way, and I'm going to give it to you. Here are the ingredients. You have a chicken breast, grits, black pepper, bacon, salt and pepper, one shallot, Philadelphia cream cheese, onion, and chives. Okay? Minced garlic, olive oil, you'll need some toothpicks, and we're going to finish it off with a little balsamic glaze at the very end. So, that's it. Not a lot of ingredients, but a um, very elegant dish and very full flavored dish as well. So, let's get started. Wash my hands, start cutting up the shallot. I've got my grits going. They're ready. This is going to be done in no time. And it's super, super easy. I know it will be easy for you to do at home. So give me two minutes and okay, I'll be back. So one of the first things you want to do is, like I mentioned before, you want to get your grits on and get them a nice creamy consistency and you're going to take about a cup of those grits and use them for this, this recipe, okay? The next thing is you're going to take a half of a shallot. have about a tablespoon of olive oil in your pan. Getting ready for the shallots here. And we're going to add them. You want to add half a teaspoon of minced garlic. Now we'll put this to the side. Alright, so now that you've got your grits done and your shallots and your garlic caramelized, it's time to prepare the stuffing for the chicken. But before you do that, you want to make sure you set your oven at 325. I have one cup of cooked grits here. And to that, you're going to add your shallots and your minced garlic that you caramelized together. Mix that up really well. Then you're going to add two and a half ounces of your Philadelphia cream cheese, and this is the chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese. So this, in addition to the shallots and the garlic and the butter that you already have in the grits when you make it, really make a really creamy and savory stuffing. Now I want you to keep in mind you're going to slowly build the flavor with the salt. Just little by little add the salt because the onion and the chive Philadelphia cream cheese really gives us a lot of flavor so with that being said you don't really need a lot of salt so slowly build it in and get it to the right taste that you like. So you have your stuffing all perfectly seasoned and everything. And now it's time to start on preparing your chicken breast and cutting a little pocket so that you can start stuffing and getting it ready for the oven. So come in a little closer and we'll go ahead and get that started. Okay, so you want to take the meatiest part of the chicken breast and get a small knife and start making an incision just to get it started like that. Make sure your pocket's deep enough, but you're not going to go, you're not going to cut way back into this area. Now it's time to add the stuffing. So, I'm going to Alright, 
So your black pepper bacon and you're going to wrap it and you'll need your toothpicks. So you get the first part here and you stick the toothpick there. Then you're going to wrap it around. After that, you do a light salt and pepper because the bacon is adding salt, so you don't want to go overboard, and you already have some pepper on the black pepper bacon. I've put about a fourth of a cup of water at the bottom of the pan here to try to keep the chicken moist, and I'm going to cover it with some soil for the first part of the cooking process. Okay, so the first 15 to 18 minutes have passed, and we're going to check on the chicken to see how it's looking. Okay, come in. Okay, on. so chicken is getting done at a good rate. So Next, what you want to do is you want to put your oven on broil so that you can get the bacon and the chicken to get a nice color. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil on top to help it out. So back in the oven on broil and it's going to be uncovered so we can get that bacon to crisp and the chicken to get a nice brown color. Now dur during the broiling process you want to take some of the juice from the chicken and just baste it. Alright, so here it is with a nice sized salad. I'm going to baste it one more time. The last thing you want to do is add balsamic glaze. Give it a little taste here. You want to make sure you get some of the bacon. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so here we are, the finished product. It's a stuffed, juicy chicken with creamy grits and Philadelphia cream cheese, the chive and onion flavor, along with shallots, minced garlic, wrap, and peppered bacon. The side salad with goat cheese and blackberries and strawberries. That's all you need. You just need a glass of wine and you're good to go. I hope that you try it at home and I hope that you love it just like I do. Thank you very much and thanks again for coming to my kitchen.